In this video, I'll show you how to set up and query a full text index on your MySQL or MariaDB database tables. So here is the forums table from my Find a Forum Websites database. I can do a basic keyword search using like. So we just put what we're searching for between percent signs. And if you run that, you'll see that you do get some dog forums returned. Although the first one is actually a tortoise forum. So obviously we could probably do a much better search than this. So if you're using PHP My Admin, you can create a full text index by clicking on the structure. So scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see this indexes section here. And we need to create an index on one column we'll put for now. Then we'll click on go. So we'll call it, uh, let's say forums, full text index. Yep, yeah, done that before. And we need to change the index to a full text one and then we can add the columns so let's do it on let's see forum long name and you can add more columns here remember that you can only search text columns or varchars so we'll put in here let's do forum description as well you can have a number of columns, uh, however, as you'll see later, it can be a bit complicated, so it's best to keep it simple and only include the columns you actually want to query. So we will go here and just check that our index is here. Yep, yeah, it does say our index is here. If you're using MySQL Workbench, you can also edit and add full text indexes. To do this, you right click on the table name. Go to alter table, sometimes it takes a few seconds, and then click on the indexes thing here, it's not obvious where it is, and then you can edit the full text here. This is quite nice because then you can just have a tick list of which columns you want to include in the full text index. Note that with MariaDB, I did have a few problems actually getting MySQL Workbench to work with full text indexes and MariaDB itself. I don't know if you found this. I still quite like this tool rather than using PHP My Admin. So back in PHP My Admin, let's go to a SQL window and query this new full text index. So this is a basic query for searching the MySQL database full text index. You use match with the column names and you use against with the query. So here we're using dogs as a query. Note that match will only work if you specify all of the table columns that you have included in the full text index. So this is something that uh, newbies often don't realize. This is also something a little different to SQL Server if you use that as well. So let's run the query. And so you see I have a problem, so it can't find the full text index with these two columns. So we have forum long name and forum keywords. So I seem to remember that I used forum description. Let's see if this works. Okay, so now we have how many results? Yes, we only have four results, but this time there's a Labrador, a pet forums one, Boxer World, I assume that's Boxer Dogs, and Cavaliers, so there's another type of dog. Now we have much better results and the Tortoise Forum doesn't appear in the top. So I think I do have more dog forums but they're not appearing, so it appears I need to change my full text index. So we'll go into structure, then we can edit the index and we'll add on the forums keywords. We can now write another query. This time we have three, we need T forums. So as you can see, I've added a new column into the full text index, which means that it must be in the match clause now. Okay, this time we have 24 results. Last time we only had four. The keywords column has a lot more data in it. Dog health forums is number one. So, so as you might imagine, that's relevant. And we have boxers, Labradors, not sure what that one is, German Shepherds. So the Tortoise Forum, I think, is in about position 15 or something. So it does appear, as you can see, we have much less relevant results at the bottom. Things about caravans, motorhomes. They're probably forums that mention dogs, but 
The ones at the top are specifically about dogs. So as you can see, using a full text index is much better than using just the like clause. So the good thing about using a full text index with match and against is that you can put much longer queries in. So you couldn't really do this using like or you'd have to write some complicated query. So this time the tortoise form is at the top and then we have general pets forms, cat forms and a whole mixture of forms. So full text index search is especially useful if you're writing a search facility on your website. All of my websites including Finder Forum have search facilities on and they seem to work pretty well. So what happens if we want to know the rank or score of the results, i.e. how relevant are they? Here we can use this query. So this time instead of just using the match against in the where clause, we can also use match against in the select clause. Just ensure that you use the same query in both. So when we run this, we get a score column here. In your application source code, you can use this score to work out which of the results you want to use. When I'm writing a search facility, I usually show the user the top 40% of the results and discard the rest because they're usually a lot less relevant. For example, here we have a football forum and motorhome forum and one about vans, I think. Yeah, and caravans. Even birds as well, so I probably wouldn't show those in the search results. If you want to learn more about MySQL Full Text Search, then I'll link this article to the description below. It is worth a quick read, and there are a few limitations in the MySQL Full Text Search which you need to be aware of. So you can only use full text indexes on InnoDB or MyISAM tables. As I mentioned earlier, you can only query var chars or text columns, and you can also do char columns as well. If you have a multilingual website, there is support for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean characters, so you might find that useful. One of the useful thing it says here, if you have large data sets, it's much faster to load your data into a table without an index, and then create the index, rather than load data into a table that already has a full text index. If you have large amounts of text to search, then it might be worth using the in natural language mode modifier. So you just put this in the against clause here. Let's run this. And for my results, the results are mostly the same. So it's worth trying this query on your own data because the search results may become more relevant. However, it will only really work if you have a lot of data in your columns. So as you can see, full text indexes don't take very long to set up and you can get much better results from the database searches you perform. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.